After less than conclusive results from my indoor biochar trial, I'm really looking forward to this summer's biochar field trial and hope to see more definitive results. I've already charged my biochar, prepared control and test garden beds, and started planting. Now that the field trial is underway, I thought I'd share with you some of the details of how I'm conducting the trial, and I welcome your feedback on ways to improve it. Other members of the Home Garden Field Trials community are also conducting trials, so please visit our Google Plus page to follow their progress as well. While the indoor trial focused entirely on germination rates and plant size, the field trial will focus more on crop yield. Because of biochar's ability to hold nutrients, house beneficial microbes, and retain moisture, we expect larger fruits and a greater yield from plants grown in biochar amended soil. Our hypothesis states that adding charged biochar to garden soil at a rate of half a pound per square foot will result in larger plants, larger fruit, and higher crop yields. I set up two 4x4 garden beds for the trial. One bed was randomly assigned as the control and the other as the test. Both beds receive a similar amount of sun, have the same slope and orientation, and were filled with the same homemade compost, which was thoroughly mixed to ensure a homogeneous blend. There's a garden path between the two beds to prevent biochar from leaching from the test bed into the control bed. Because biochar is most effective when charged with nutrients, inoculated with beneficial microbes, and fully hydrated, I charged the biochar for four weeks prior to adding it to the test garden bed. I did this by mixing eight pounds of biogenic reagents biochar with 16 pounds of fresh worm castings. That's half a pound of biochar per square foot and one pound of castings per square foot. If worm castings weren't available, I could have used compost or bokashi compost instead. I also added enough chlorine-free water to the mixture to achieve the moisture of a wrung out sponge. I added the charged biochar worm castings blend to the test garden bed and mixed it into the top several inches of soil. I also mixed 16 pounds of worm castings into the control bed soil, so the only difference between the two beds is the biochar in the test bed. The worm castings for both beds came from the same pre-mixed source. If I was growing in containers instead of in the ground, I would have used a potting mix with 25% worm castings and 5-10% to biochar. So far I've transplanted kale and collards into the control and test beds and will transplant tomatoes and peppers after nighttime temperatures warm up. All of these plants were started indoors using the same potting mix. They were all bottom watered and randomly reassigned their positions under the grow lights every weekend to ensure an unbiased placement. Each plant was randomly assigned to the control or the test group. I've also planted carrots and mangled beets. I did my best to plant the same number of seeds in both beds, though this was very difficult with the tiny carrot seeds. Once seedlings emerge, I'll remove extra seedlings to ensure the same number in both beds. I plan to take care of the plants and the soil, as I always do. I'll apply compost tea once per week, and when the soil warms up, I'll apply mulch consisting of autumn leaves, grass clippings, comfrey, used coffee grounds, and yard waste. I don't plan to use any fertilizer. I'll water the beds using chlorine-free water and will care for both beds exactly the same. To determine the total crop yield and average fruit size, I'll record the weight of all produce harvested from the two beds, as well as count the number of tomatoes, peppers, carrots, and mangled beets harvested. At the end of the trial, I'll not only analyze my results, but the collective results of all trial participants will also be analyzed. The increased sample size from multiple participants should increase the reliability of our results. I should note that sometimes improved results from biochar aren't seen until two or more years after its application, so I plan to continue the trial into 2015 if the 2014 results are inconclusive. In addition to the biochar trial, I'm also very excited to be participating in this year's Rock Dust Field Trial, along with Stephen McGarry of Alberta Urban Garden and other members of the Home Garden Field Trials community. To learn more about the Rock Dust Field Trial, please see the link at the end of this video to Stephen's video introduction to the trial. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time. Other than that, everything else is the same. So if you'll be participating using containers, we recommend that the application rate be cut in half, which is one half pound per square foot, or 
2.44 kilograms per square meter. For planting, we'll be using Mel Bartholomew's square foot gardening method, which indicates certain planting ratios per square foot. We'll be planting 